Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Architect for Abletunes. We are in our second part of our vocal processing series. We're going to get started here. Our first thing we're going to go over is multiband dynamics. So this multiband compressor can be your best friend whenever you're dealing with vocals. What I'm going to do here is click this on, go over a couple parameters. So you have your split frequency here. Your high, you can see when I do this, is going to go into three sections. You've got your high, mid, and low, which will be adjusted right here. High, mid, and then your low. You can actually set these frequencies right here, and that's going to set how far this one comes in, like a crossover, and this one here, where this one comes in. We want our amount to be 100%. We're going to hit play, and we're going to actually watch the audio through these here and check this out. I wanna go somewhere different tonight I wanna see someplace new and out of sight so with this multiband dynamic right here, what we've got here is we've got our threshold ratio display. So you can drag the edges of the blocks up or down like so. You can see which will give you downward expansion or drag them down. You can notice here this changes. What that's going to do is ratios below 1 will result in downward expansion. So if you have something above a 1.0, it's going to result in downward expansion, which is going to mean that the quieter things such as breaths are going to get much louder they're going to be much more pronounced. So you probably want to keep this on vocals especially down somewhere around maybe 0.3, something like that. This ratio right here, anything that is above or below this is either going to get expanded or it's going to get compressed. Now I won't go too much into the expansion, downward expansion and upward expansion right now. Another thing you can do is you can shift to adjust all of the bands at the same time. That's another cool little quick key. We're going to put all of them right about here, 0 0.45, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. We're going to hit play and I'm going to solo these up. I'm going to mess around with this and show you a little bit of the functions of the multiband dynamics here. I want to go somewhere different tonight. Notice how you can change the frequencies. I want to see someplace new and out of sight. Come with me, we can be free. Never let me go. Take my hand. Okay, so now when you see these little yellow ones right here, the little yellow lines are going to mark the input, and the orange is going to be the output signal. I wanna go see the two dancing lines, and then the orange ones. Tonight. We're just going to do some regular downward compression, pull out some of the lows on this vocal. I wanna go somewhere different tonight. I want to see someplace new and out of sight. So that smoothed it out just a little bit. Now there's tons of different things that you can do with this. That's about as in-depth as we'll get with the multiband dynamics now. That's just scratching the surface of different things you can do. For now we'll leave it at that since we've kind of smoothed out a couple frequencies of our vocal. Next up, we're going to go over our EQ Resonant EQ Eraser. We're going to click this guy on here. We've got a high pass filter engaged right here. It is set at 61.2 hertz. I'm going to roll this up just a little bit to 73 since it is a female vocal. I know that we're not going to need any of that stuff there. We're going to go over here to our third band. You can see how we've got just a little bitty bit of a spike. Because if it was zero, you can see right here how the curvature of this Q from the next frequency up is affecting it. So we want that to even out just a little bit. So we're going to put a little bit of a spike there. So this seventh band right here is where we're doing most of our cutting on this. We can hit play. Let's move this around and let's see how this is affecting it. We want to play around with this frequency and the cue a little bit. So let's take a listen. I want to go somewhere different tonight. I want to see someplace new and out of sight. So that right there is pretty good. We're sitting right at 2K, which isn't uncommon for a female vocal to be really spiky in the 2K range. So the next frequency range we're going to go to is our fourth band right here. So I'm going to take this up to about 4K. That's going to put a nice little top end sizzle and air on it. We've got a 4.83 dB gain. I'm just going to double click. We'll do 5 dB gain. Notice how this Q affects some of the surrounding frequencies. So we're going to go to about there where it's really smooth looking. Let's take a little listen now. I want to go somewhere different tonight. 
Okay, now that's not bad at all right there. Pretty good sounding. So the next thing we're going to go to is Ableton's Easy DSer. I'm going to look right here on this viewer when we play so we can see exactly where the frequency is that we're looking to take out. You can see it hit on the S's. So I'm going to turn this guy on and then I'm going to take a look right here to see. I want to go somewhere different tonight. I want to see someplace new and out of so it looks like it's about 8 to 9K where that's happening. So we're going to come over here now. We're going to look at our multiband dynamics. This DSer that Ableton just put together is really cool. It's got a threshold right here that's going to adjust your threshold on your top. And then you can actually adjust your frequency here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this up to about 6K there. I'm going to put this threshold out and then I'm going to take a listen and I'm going to roll this threshold back to where it smooths out this top end. I want to go somewhere different tonight I want to see someplace new and out of sight Okay, very cool. So yeah, this Ableton's Easy DSer is a really cool little way to use this multiband dynamics. So next up, we're going to add a short reverb to this. You just go up into your plugins, open up a reverb unit. There's a couple different presets you can use. We've got our low and our high cut filter here, so it's just going to be this catching, this kind of mid frequencies. We've got our pre-delay at 2.5 milliseconds. We've got our shape here at 0 0.50. We've got our global quality set to high. Our size is pretty much maxed out maybe three quarters of the way and then our stereo right here that's where we want to actually kind of gel everything together so we've got it set at a hundred we're gonna just type it in our decay time is gonna be short though 329 milliseconds so this is gonna kind of just emulate a small room give us a little bit of density around the vocal just kind of smooth everything out so let's take a listen with the reverb on also again I wanna go somewhere different tonight Cool. Now in order to tighten that up just a little bit, yeah, we're going to go back to about 400. I'm just going to type in 400 and we're going to stick with that. So let's take a quick listen to this lead vocal with the instrumental track. I want to go somewhere different tonight. I want to see someplace new and out of sight. Come with me, we can be free. All right, tune in for the part three of this series where we're going to be going over our background vocals here and some of our accent vocals as well. Make sure and go to abletunes.com for more templates and tutorials. This is Architect. Thank you for listening.